Hello guys and girls, it's Paul from Ementech and today I present to you our new CS Spring installation tool. We've put a lot of research and development into this tool and we've made it as simple as possible to use. What we're trying to do is to produce a range of tools that makes it easy for even the novices in our sports to replace components and parts in their firearms so that they don't have much downtime and have more time to practice. So we've recently released the Emantech installation tool for the trigger return spring and it's taken off amazingly well. Everybody's finding it really easy to use and it's changing the way they maintain their firearms and replace parts. So just to go a little bit further into what we've done with this tool, the CS spring is one of the hardest springs to replace. It's tricky, there's not a lot of space in the in the housing or in the ejector block to replace that spring. There it sits there. It's got a very, very short leg that backs up against the rear of the sear and a long front leg that locks into the recess here. That long leg also locks into the safety and stops it from moving around. So it's a little bit tricky to install without practice and experience. So what we did was we manufactured this tool with a number of key elements built into it to make it easier to install without any issues. One of those things is we've inserted a neodymium magnet in there. It's really, really strong and it's tiny. And what it does is it holds that sear spring in position. We've also drilled a micro hole in there for the short leg of the sear spring. You insert it in there and I'll show you how to do it. And it's held in place very, very well with the magnet. Another important part we made to this tool is two steps or over travel ledges. Now, the first one tops out against the back of the sear right there. So you can't go any further backwards. And the second step is a longer one on the bottom, which bottoms out against the body of the the housing right over there. So it's also made out of brass, so it'll last a lifetime and it's finished really, really well. Now, when we start looking at replacing the spring or changing it out for whatever reason, all you need to do is remove it from your firearm. And we've got videos up there on how to do that already. Once the block is out, this is called an ejector block or a sear spring housing, and it contains four parts really. It's the outer shell of the ejector block, it's the sear itself, it's the sear spring and the ejector is built onto that and the fourth part is the pin that holds it all together. So when we're taking it apart you just need to use a two millimeter punch and push that pin out that holds it all together. Nothing's going to jump out or fly away from you like the trigger return spring. There's the pin there's the sear spring, and there is the short leg I talked about, right over there, and the long leg is obvious, and the coil of the spring. The sear falls out the bottom, and there's the cage that holds it all together. When we're putting it back together, one way to remember how to install it is have the ejector pointing towards you, the back of the sear facing, facing backwards towards the rear of the gun, and insert it with the hook facing up on the right hand side. From the bottom, it goes in like that. And then you can use your pin through the body of the ejector block and through the sear. If you go too far, you're blocking the entrance where the sear spring lives and you wanna pull that out just enough to make space for it there. Now you don't have to hold anything together. The pin is holding the ejector block or the sear cage and the sear together at the same time. Now we can prepare our tool with the sear, sear spring that we're going to replace. Notice the hole in the top there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but we want that installed with the short leg in the hole. And the magnet will hold it all together so it doesn't fall out. Once that's done, you see how perfectly it fits in there. You can grab your sear cage and with the ejector pointing to the left, insert the tool to the first step, bottoming it out against the sear, 
and then rotate it all the way until it stops on the second step on the tool and you can then push that pin in through the body. You can then disconnect and the magnet will release the spring and it's done, it's installed. You can test it by manipulating the sear from the bottom and you will see that that's working fine. Now that took all of two seconds, three seconds to do and we've really, really simplified it with the technology and the development that's gone into this tool. If you've been afraid to take your firearm apart and do maintenance on it and you look at these little springs, this will revolutionize the way you put it back together. I hope this video has been informative and I hope you have the confidence to play with your gun, learn how it works and replace the parts on a regular basis. We don't like breakages in matches. Um, don't mind having them in practice, but before big matches, we always replace the consumables that can cause us a malfunction or a stoppage of some sort. Thanks for your time. Hope to see you on the range soon. Cheers.